Vlogmas, día 5 para la comunidad de ICAM. Siempre el primero. Ok, that's like the extent of my Spanish. <laughs> Day five, and I'm really just talking about partly what I do, but the core of it. And what I do, as I mentioned a couple of days ago, is I really work with organizations and individuals, coaches, on storytelling, how to present their ideas, even with more clarity and confidence. And I think what I wanted to talk about a little bit was why I like stories, why I like stories. Now, I, I don't know if I've shared this before. I think I did yesterday that I'm a PK, I'm a pastor's kid. And as a pastor's kid, you get to hear a lot of sermons. <laughs> and some of them are good and some of them not so good. Some of them are interesting and the majority of them, I would say, especially for a kid, were boring and uninteresting. The ones that really kept my attention were the ones that were based on stories. They were telling a story about their lives or they were telling a story about a Bible character or they were telling just something interesting. The ones that bored me to tears were the ones where they talked about, you know, oh, in the Hebrew this or the Greek that, and they were talking about prophecy and a lot of different things. And it, it bored me. To tears and, I, and and that happened in the speaking space or the preaching space or the church space but i find that the same thing happens in a lot of organizations as well right you got to present an idea you got to share an idea about a project or something that's happening and what they do is you go in with a lot of facts you go in with a lot of figures you go in with a lot of charts a lot of data a lot of crazy and it doesn't land or it's not memorable in the same way that a story is one of my one of my clients, the a company that I do some training for, every time I deliver this training, there's this one fact that sticks out for me, and it's by a guy named Jerome Bruner who wrote the book Cognitive Minds, right? And one of the things that Jerome Bruner says in this book is that well, people are 22 times more likely to remember a fact if it's wrapped in a story. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's a whole lot, right? That's a whole lot. So if that's the case, if we, if we ultimately want to be memorable, then why don't we use stories more? If we ultimately want people to move to action and, and leave meetings, leave sessions, why don't we use stories a lot more? Right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So that's really what the core is for me. It's not so much that I have a favorite story that always makes me want to tell stories. It's what stories do. It's what stories lead to. It's the action that they lead to. And that's really why I do this channel. That's really what this channel is about, the techniques and the technologies of storytelling. So if I can be helpful to you in your storytelling journey, figuring out how to create and tell stories more effectively, especially if you want to be able to figure out how to do that more effectively on video, then let me know and we can work. We can work, baby. Yeah, something. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, y'all, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, share, like, all of that stuff. As the YouTubers say, smash that like button. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. Where's today, Day 5? Yeah, today was Day 5. I can't count. I'll see you tomorrow.